personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I wanted to talk about this heavyweight matchup that just got signed a couple days ago before I got here to Japan. And by the way, shout out to everybody out there who's been supporting the channel, man. We're in Japan. The week starts tomorrow, like, for boxing. So I'm really excited about going to the gyms and getting you guys some interviews and content. So stay tuned for that, please. But um, wanted to talk about this fight that got signed. There's a heavyweight fight. It's ESPN. It's top rank. It's, it's Jared Anderson. You know, we know... Jared Anderson is the, the last American heavyweight hope. We know that Jared Anderson is a guy that Bob Arum and, and Top Rank have a lot of plans for because uh, he's very talented, very versatile, very dynamic talent in the heavyweight division, you know? And uh, I think for the first time in his career, he's gonna be in a decent fight, like a, a fight where you can say, you know what, this is, this is a real fight. This is a solid challenge. This is, a, this is a fight that's going to let us know a little bit more about Jared Anderson. And, um, you know, I had to do a little research because I didn't know a whole lot about his opponent before this fight got signed. But uh, his opponent is going to be 19-0 with 18 knockouts, southpaw, power-punching heavyweight, Jean Kosobutsky. Now, I don't know if I'm even saying his name right, but the guy, heavyweight from Kazakhstan, southpaw, 19-0, 18 knockouts. Had a chance to watch his uh, couple so, some fights of his just today when I was just like you know watching some boxing, catching up on some boxing, and uh, good fighter, good fighter. Um, in the amateurs, he has a win over Fraser Clark, who won the bronze medal for the uh, UK for the for the uh, Great Britain squad in the last Olympics. Uh, good fighter there. Um, has two wins over heavyweight veterans such as Joey Duwaco and. Um, Johan Duapas, but you know, Johan Duapas is very past it. You know, he's not the Johan Duapas that fought Wilder all those years ago. He's very shop one. But um, my first impressions watching him, like right out the gate, were yo, this guy is extremely, extremely slow. But then as I started to watch him a bit more, as I, as I began to watch him a bit more and just pay a little, little bit more attention, I started, I started to see some good positives with this fighter. You know, um, Jean has good foot positioning. His feet are very rarely out of place um, when he throws a punch. Um, he, has, so he has a good understanding of positioning, which is very important. One of the most important qualities any fighter can have in boxing. He has a very good understanding of um, his range. And, that, and, and traits like that come from having a, a, a good amateur background, which, which he has. Um, and most importantly, uh he can punch like he can, he's got some thump in his hands real thump now does he have that one punch power um not necessarily to the head but he he throws punches very well to the body um so this is the kind of fight where J some of the defensive mistakes that jared anderson's been making if he doesn't blast this guy out of the early and this guy's able to you know adapt to the speed of anderson early i can see in the middle rounds you know middle Little rounds of this fight being problematic for Jared. Um, I think he should win because I just think he's a more talented guy. But there's some things defensively he needs to clean up. Like he pulls he pulls straight back a lot when he when he when he uh, gets into exchanges. Uh, we saw a little bit of that in the Jerry Forrest fight, but he just you know Jerry Forrest had already been through a lot of wars. Jerry Forrest is a guy that just wasn't able to handle the firepower anymore just because of the fact that he's been in so many tough fights he's fought Zhang, he fought michael hunter you know tough tough fights so that being said um i like that you know i like this fight a lot i, I know a lot of people aren't gonna be like go crazy about it because you know this guy Jean is not a big name i didn't even know who he was but once i took the time to watch him and really really pay attention and stick my teeth into his style i think this is a good test like now do i think this is like is jared anderson fighting um uh, a killer I wouldn't call him a killer, but this, this, is, this is a guy that can really crack. And this is a guy that has power and he knows what to do with it. Because it's one thing to have power. It's one thing to have a gun, but but to know how to shoot the gun, all right? That's that's the more important thing. And, I, and, I, and I'm speaking metaphorically, of course, about his punches and then the punching power he has. A lot of, Everyone in the heavyweight division can punch. They're all big guys. They all weigh 200 something pounds, plus pounds. But what separates the, 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 the good ones from, uh, from the great ones is the ability to know how to apply that power in set situations. And um, defensively, I, I, I just think from what I've seen from Jared Anderson, 
I think defensively he's gonna have to be a bit more, you know, sound in this fight. And if he's not, uh, he could get put through some early adversity in his career for the first time, like real adversity. And you know that that's the exciting thing. And also factor in, it's the first car that he's uh, main eventing, so he's not gonna be a guy that you you can see on, you know, undercards. He's he's gonna be main eventing in his hometown, so that that that's always a big moment in a fighter's career when they go through the process of being a prospect and they look good and they build a good little buzz for himself. And then now, look, got, got some nice cars there. But um, you go through that process he's, um, and then you get a chance to main event in your own hometown. So the fight will be in Toledo and it should be a really, really interesting occasion. But uh, yeah, don't. I, I would say, guys, look, when you go, if you go check this guy, Jean out, Jean Koza, Bootski, or however you say his last name. I'm sorry if I mispronounced his name, but John from Kazakhstan, Southpaw, power punching, dangerous heavyweight. When you watch him fight, because I watched this fight against a guy named Hussein. He fought a guy named Hussein Muhammad. That's the first one I watched. And from what I can, from what I can see, he's like very, um, he's very like, uh, how do I say? He's very awkward, very awkward. Some things he does looks really slow and it looks really uh, just not cool, not good. But once you get past that initial shock of his how he how he fights, and you see maybe some of his other fights where it, where he puts punches together, yo, the guy the guy the guy is a problem. The guy can really fight, and uh, Jared Anderson cannot do some of the things he's been getting away with. Um, and you know, ultimately, I, I, I'll end the video on this note. I think Jared's gonna beat him, like, cause I watched the fight with the guy Muhammad Hussein or whatever he fought. And um, that guy literally uh, didn't know how to, th didn't have no defense, was very slow, but the guy had, was kind of accurate, and he countered him a couple times with a straight right hand. Um, so I think, I think that punch is gonna be, that punch for Jared is gonna be there because this guy is very slow at times. Sometimes he cocks his punches back when he shouldn't cock his punches back. And um, so that punch will be there for him. And if he lands it early, it could be an early night, but, uh, Nonetheless, good fight. Someone's getting chinned. Uh, this is a fight that I think people should uh, do a little more homework on. Because as I did homework on it, I come to realize it's a it's a it's a good fight. You know. So uh, yeah, let, 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 let me know what you guys see in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.